Welcome to day seven of laying these damn tiles. It's, it's been a nightmare. So good morning, my beautiful people. It's been a while. I've got the leveling compound down, as you may have seen from my last short video. Uh, it's pretty much leveled it off a little, a bit better than what it was. I mean, here, if you remember from my earlier videos, the concrete sank there because the guys who delivered the, delivered the concrete ran over one of my farms and I didn't know. So it's it's a lot. I mean, it's only probably about five mil, five mil difference in height. So I can work with this. It's a lot going to be a lot easier to work with, and thankfully. If you remember from my earlier videos, my, uh, my technical advisor, he's coming to help me. He's coming to give me a hand just to get started. Now, what he's asked me to do is lay the first row of tiles here on the floor dry. So just put them on you know, as they are now, and then I'll score along the, along the floor where they go. So I started here, as you know, and I worked my way that way. And it was all relatively, relatively straightforward. I haven't had any issues at all. The only issue is had when I was cleaning it out, I've chipped one of the tiles. I'm living and learning. But now I've got to this side, and as some of you may know, it's obviously a bit lower here, especially here. So I'm having to build up a thick bed of adhesive and getting it level and square is proving enormously difficult. I'm ending up more, with more adhesive on me than I am on the floor. It's it's proving tough, so much so that, I mean, it is, I'll say it's relatively, relatively level. It's not perfect by any, any stretch of the imagination, but everything's all, all seems to be in line apart from here. And it's just started to go off. Now I'm glad that I'm not doing a huge area because that would amplify over, I don't know if I was going another 20 foot, it'd, it'd amplify a lot further. I've only got to go to there, but it has started to do it slightly here as well. Now the only thing I can think of is that I've got a tile on and it's slightly twisted, which it, it begs the question, how does that happen when I'm putting these little spaces in? I've got these, uh, these things in, but anyway, it's happened. Uh, <laughs> I'm nearly over the worst of the low bit now. So I've got this row to do, one more row, that end, uh, and then I've just got a, a corner piece over there and I'm, I'm done with tiling. But like with most of the jobs that I do, I start off, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, make a little bit of a mess at the beginning, 
start to get the hang of it, balls a little bit up, and then get absolutely fed up of doing that job and want to move on to something else. But I can't move on to anything else until I get this floor down, because the next job is to get me uh, my pallets all the, all the way around. Because it's dropped here, the concrete, I've had to pack more adhesive under. And Sam, if you're watching, he's a guy that I watch on YouTube, he said that if you haven't to pack adhesive, you're gonna <laughs> you're gonna find it a bit of a problem. And he's a builder. And I completely understand what he's saying. It's just an absolute nightmare. In fact, there's many times I've considered bringing a tile and saying, can you just finish this job for me? But I've not. <laughs> I've cracked on and it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, as I've said before, it's, it's, you know, it's relatively level, it's relatively square. There's the odd one which is a bit twisted, but this bit, yeah, I've not enjoyed this bit. I mean, I've not got many, t many to go. I've probably got, what, two, four, I've probably got about eight tiles to put down. I've run out of adhesive again. I bought initially enough for 16 square metres, which was uh, four bags. <laughs> I'm probably on my ninth bag and I'm still going to run out. I'm also going to run out of tiles. <laughs> because I broke a couple. So, <laughs> I'm definitely living and learning with this job. Definitely. It's, uh, yeah, it's proving a bit of a nightmare. Nearly there, though. Now, the other problem I've found is that I've tried to wear gloves at the start. But because I was getting adhesive everywhere, absolutely everywhere, I just couldn't wear them because I couldn't clean them, so I took them off. What that's done to my hands is, <laughs> is uh, the like, my hands, I've always had soft hands because I've never really done any manual work. My hands look like they're about 90 years old now, so I've tried to start wearing gloves again and I am finding that difficult. So after nine days on my knees, bending over, hands in grout, cement, I feel as though I've aged about 40 years, but I've finished, I've finished the floor. I just have not enjoyed <laughs> this floor, but it's done, it's it's done. I've grouted this morning, spent about five hours grouting it. I've given it a wash down with a sponge, still a bit hazy, so I'll probably give it another wash down or maybe a, cu a couple, uh, and then, that's the major jobs of this whole build done. All I've got to do next is get my pallets all the way around the edge like I have the outside. And I've bought some of these, so I'm gonna do a mishmash of tiles, one row all the way around here and around there. And then pallets below it. So yeah, I can get on with that. And that's not a major job. I can just do that leisurely. This has been a bloody nightmare though. So yes, uh, I, and I have to say thank you very much for watching my videos. Um, I've said it before, but I really do appreciate all you guys that have taken the time to watch my videos. It's, it, it, it means a lot to me. So thank you.